What's up, this is Jeremy from Production Den. So glad to have you with me on the channel today. Today we're gonna to be talking about if you can solve the problem of not being able to drag audio into FL Studio. But before we jump into that, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you can get alerted whenever there is a new video posted. Let's jump in. Now I've seen a couple people in the comment section below say, hey, I'm having trouble. I can't drag audio into FL Studio. It's not letting me do it. And I hadn't had that problem, so I had to go and do a little bit of research to find out what it was that they were talking about and if there was a solution to the problem. So here's what I found out. There is a setting for FL Studio that you can check or uncheck from the shortcut in the compatibility section that will allow you to drag and drop audio or not drag and drop audio. And here's how it works. If you right click on the icon for FL Studio that's on your desktop and you go to the properties, and then you go over to the compatibility tab and then you look down at the bottom there is a box that is down there that says you run this program as an administrator and it has a checkbox beside that if that is checked then you will not be able to drag audio inside of fl studio so when i did this i had to try to recreate this for you guys i checked that box and applied it so when I opened up FL Studio, it gave me a, a pop-up that said, hey, listen, since you're running this program as an administrator, you may not be able to drag and drop audio. Just wanna make sure that this is okay for you. And when I go into the program and I try to drag in like a drum sample, it wouldn't let me do it. It gives me the, um, the circle with the cross through it saying, you can't do this. But if I close down the program and I right click on the icon again, I go through the same thing. I go to properties, I go to the compatibility tab, and then I uncheck that box and apply it and say, okay, if I open up FL Studio that next time, I don't get that same error. And when I try to drag the same drum loop in, it opens up just fine. So that may be one solution for you if you are having that particular problem in FL Studio. And I found this page through the FL Studio knowledge base. I will link that in the description below. And this was a common way to solve the problem for not being able to drag audio into the program. They also alluded to the fact that there is, there may be some other issues that might be causing the problem of not being able to drag audio into FL Studio. And some of the things that they talked about was the user data folder, setting that up and making sure that that's set to the defaults, because if it's not, sometimes it won't allow you to do things like that. They also had some information if you are running an antivirus software like a Vost or AVG, uh, that that might be causing some problems. And there is another page that covers all of these other different situations that they recommend that you try if the administrator part is not working for you. So I'm going to link that also in the description below. It's just another series of things that you can go through and try if you're not able to drag audio into FL Studio. Well, I hope for your sake that it was the simple fix and all you had to do was go through the process of right clicking on the properties and checking to make sure that you're not running the program as an administrator. If it wasn't, I hope that the other link in the description will help you go through the process of figuring out what it might be that is preventing you from being able to drag audio into the program. I know it can be really hard trying to figure out how to use FL Studio when you're just getting started. So I created a series of videos, three different parts where I walk you through all the basics that you need to understand in order to be able to record and produce songs with FL Studio. You can click on the first video here and then I'll also make sure that there's links in the description below for those other videos in the series. If you have any other comments or questions, leave those in the comment section below and I will see you in the next round.